have some of the top anglers benefited with or without forward-facing sonar? That's what we're going to talk about right now. If you like this kind of content, do me a favor, click that like and subscribe button. And again, thank you. It's, it's amazing. The growth has been amazing. And it's all because of you. So I want to just say thank you. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for becoming members. Thanks for subscribing, doing it all. Thank you. But if you're not a subscriber, you have no idea what you're missing. So click that subscribe button, become part of the team and family. I've had lots of y'all ask, do some of the top anglers, do they do better with forward facing sonar or do they do better without forward facing sonar? And it's kind of a hard topic to get into. First, finding the right amount of anglers or the right anglers who have competed for the last five or six or seven years in either the top elites, the elites, the Bassmaster elites, or the Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour is kind of hard because there's been anglers that were with bass that moved over to MLF or anglers that were with MLF and then moved over to bass. And if they moved into the opens or moved into the invitationals or so forth, I tried to keep those anglers out. I wanted anglers that were at the top of the list for six or seven years. And from there, I took their Angler of the Year standings. Now I should say, I'm doing this before the St. Lawrence River. And the St. Lawrence River is gonna be all about scoping. But for some of the anglers that are Bassmaster elites, they could either go up or down. But this is before the St. Lawrence River. And I don't want anybody to take this the wrong way. But when the MLF, when MLF started, and those anglers left to go to the BPT, unfortunately, bass was a little bit watered down, and that's not being mean or throwing any shade. By this, I mean there were a bunch of new anglers that joined the elites that we that were our fantastic anglers, but weren't really household names. And that group of anglers thinned out. The competition thinned out a little bit, which helped a lot of guys. And it helped them get better points. But now those anglers are all competing at the top level, which is really good. But that 2019 area for the Bass Elites, that was a, a weird time. So we have to take some things into consideration. And like I said, finding the anglers was probably the toughest thing for me to do. But here's who we looked at. We looked at Jacob Wheeler. We looked at Jordan Lee. We looked at Dustin Connell. We looked at Edwin Evers. We looked at Otta Foe. We looked at Brandon Lester, Chris Zaldane, Jacob Prosnick, my boy Justin Lucas, and then Brandon Palinick. What we're going to look at is their Angler of the Year standings and their points for those three years and then three years after. So we're going to take 2019 through 2021 as a time when forward-facing sonar wasn't as dominant as it is now. Then we're going to take 2022 through 2024. And you're going to see their Angler of the Year points on both sides. Now, this is just their total points. If you really want to know where they stand, divide it by three, and that's what you're going to get their averages. But this is just going to go by total points. Now, were they better with forward-facing sonar or without forward-facing sonar? First is Jacob Wheeler. Jacob in 2019 had a fourth. 2020, he had a third. 2021, he had a first. So that's eight points. 2022 through 2024, he had four points. Now, he obviously caught them before, a ton before, and he's now catching them even better. Now, does he is he better with or without? You would have to say he's better with the technology, but quite honestly, if you look at seven years of Jacob Wheeler, it goes ninth, fourth, third, first, first, second, first. So the dude just catches fish with the technology or without the technology. But if we're going to be real, he's slightly better with the technology. Jordan Lee has a 7th, 1st, and 36th for 44 points without forward-facing sonar. With it, he has a 2nd, 7th, and 19th for 18 points. So there's a drastic difference with and without. Jordan Lee at is very good with forward-facing sonar and is benefiting quite a bit. Dustin Connell has 28 points an 8th, 6th, and 14th. Without it, he has a 13th, 15th, and 4th for 32 points. So he was catching them better without forward-facing sonar versus with forward-facing sonar, but by just a very little bit. Edwin Evers has a 1st, a 28th, and a 37th. 
for 67 points. With that, with it, he has a 40th, 14th, and 38th for 92 points. So Edwin does better without the technology versus with the technology. Atafo is in the same boat. He had a 16th, second, and second for 20 points. With the, the technology, he has a 22nd, third, and 12th for 37 points. So Ott does better without technology versus with the technology. Brandon Lester has a 6th, 25th, and 17th with out forward facing sonar. I don't know why it's so hard for me to say that. Then he has a second 49th and 18th for 69 points. So Brandon Lester is another angler that has done better without the forward, without forward facing sonar versus with the forward facing sonar. Chris Saldane has a fourth, 20th and 40th. Maybe I'm wrong. Yes, a 40th for 64 points. With technology as a ninth, 60th and 14th place finish for 83 points. I think this is the only one I really thought was odd. I think he had a bad year in 2023. But the, the stats say Jordan's, a, I mean, Chris is a better angler without forward facing sonar versus with forward facing sonar. But he's the only one I think is wrong. Jacob Prosnick has a 23rd, 25th, and 1st for 49 points. Without technology, he has, or with technology, he has a 33rd, 34th, and 32nd for 99 points. So Jacob Prosnick has done better with the, without technology versus with technology. Justin Lucas has 46, 33rd, and 5th for 84 points without technology. With technology, he has an 8th, 18th, and 7th. So he's actually benefiting quite a bit from the use of that technology. And last but not least, Brandon Palahniuk had a 27th, 9th, 3rd without technology for 39 points. And then he's had a 1st, 33rd, and 48th with technology for 82 points. So Brandon has actually been better without technology versus with technology. Now this is still, there's still so many things that can go into this, by the way, where they go fishing, who's in the competition level, who they're fishing against. That has a lot to play with how this works out. But I think you can see that a lot of anglers have done better without technology versus with. There are some that do better. There are draft like Jordan Lee has been great without it. I think Jacob, we, Jacob and Dustin are right in that realm of it too. Then you have and, and of course Justin. You have other anglers like Palinik and Prosnik and Zaldane and Lester and Atafo and, and Edwin Evers. Those guys seem to be better without technology. I would say Chris is probably better with technology. That's not a slight against him at all. But I think he's just I think he had a bad year last year. I think. I think we're going to see him in that top 10, top 15 every year from here on out, from here on out, because he's just that good of an angler with the technology. So what do you think? Tell me in the comments below. Is this just a crazy video, to be honest? But I thought I'd share it because you guys have asked for it. And I didn't want to do a ton of research or a ton of look into where everybody was, but I did want it to know. And actually, by doing this, I was a little surprised. I thought we'd see more anglers heavily weighted towards forward-facing sonar versus without forward-facing sonar, where their finishes would be. But we didn't, and that's surprising to me. But forward-facing sonar is what everybody is talking about. I'm almost sick of doing videos talking about forward-facing sonar at this point in time. But I'll continue to do them if you guys want to see them. So comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take your kid fishing, get your fish on. I'll talk to you very, very soon. Thank you, cheers, and tight lines.